Once you've got the EQ6 up and running and using the SynScan controller, it is nice to move on to the next step. So with the controller, you're always struggling around in the observatory in the dark, trying to get the get this to work, peering at the the screen, fiddling with all the buttons. It really gets a little bit tedious and you've got to do things over and over again, the routine to switch on. So what I've got is my old EQ6, which is seldom used, hooked up here. Uh, I have connected my Nikon camera with a telephoto lens on it, just for a trial. Uh, it normally lives out on the patio, but I brought it in for this little test. And what you would do is, instead of the handset being plugged into the hand controller socket there, we connect it via this device, which is a high-tech Astro USB EQ Direct interface. Okay, so that goes from the hand controller port all the way across and hooks up to the side of your laptop. And the idea is then that you can use planetarium software like uh, Stellarium or Carte de Seal. Carte de Seal is the recommended one. And get full control from the laptop, which makes life a lot more simple. So I'll now have a look at installing the software onto the laptop and see how we go. I've had a go at installing the software, one or two minor problems, but here we have a thing called the toolbox. And when you click that, you come through to this system here. And the first thing to do is to do driver setup. When you've done driver setup, you then have to look at these things here. I, in, I've named the site as my initials, latitude, typed in as accurately as you can get, uh, and the elevation, 95 meters. I haven't got a GPS attachment on this laptop. Other things that are required, the timeout set to 2000. You've only got 1000 or 2000. Retry, you've only got one or two. They recommend two. And the board rate, because you've got a USB to serial converter involved, uh, and we suggest, or well, they suggest 9600. Now the nice thing about this is that if you then just go and click this little binocular symbol here, it will say searching for a USB port, and then it'll say found, and it will write in uh, which one it was. Now that was a problem. This is a Windows 8 laptop, and it just said not found, and I could not get it to talk, so I went on to the High Tech Astro um, site and after a little bit of fiddling I found that there is, we, the drivers don't like Windows 8 or Windows 10 so you've got to install an old version of the drivers which I did uh, and then happily it connected. Um, I haven't really looked at any of these bits and pieces down here I've set it to English because that obviously seems like a good idea and the slew preset rates I think you could probably change those uh, this is equivalent to the rate uh, button on the SynScan. Uh, don't know anything about these. We're not going to cook up a gamepad. I've set it now for this epoch of J now, which uh, is probably going to be the one. We might have to change that. Obviously, as the Earth precesses uh, and wobbles on its uh, on its spinning orbit, the stars don't always stay in this well they don't they definitely move around so the pole star one day won't be the pole star i think it'll be vega or something like that so when you try and find a particular star you don't know which epoch it is going to be measured in because in 1950 down here the stars were not in the same place as they are today so 
The normal ones are J now or J2000. Uh, so I'm trying J now. We might have to fiddle with that. I, we're not probably going to use EQ mod for the guiding, or it might be possible. So I've set that to ST4, which is what we're doing with PhD at, at, uh, at the moment with that particular system. So there we go. So click on OK. And away we go. Now, if we then go to ASCOM Connect, it's reporting that the time uh, LST 2156. Not absolutely sure what's going on there, but the right ascension parked position uh, it seems all right. Altitude 52. This is obviously going to be our. Um, altitude where we are. Uh, I'm not sure about some of these other things, but it says park to home position. So if I just click that, there we go. We've got another little flashing thing that says it's parked. Uh, if we click unpark, and I'm going to set the slew rate. to ultra fast and the deck rate to there and then we'll try north now you can see that the mount is working you can't see this at the moment I'll make a little video but you probably could hear it so that's going all right a little bit of video uh, so you can see the mount is actually moving. So they are, I'm hitting north. It doesn't make a great deal of sense because if you're pointing north, that's just ridiculous. And then south, opposite direction. West. You can move right ascension. and east. So that is going perfectly well. Now I'm going to hit it on the park button. And back we go pointing to the pole star. So now back to the capturing the video off a screen. It's a little bit confusing using a camera and the, the screen. I haven't worked out how you can do this at the same time. Clever people would have a little window on the side here with the uh, camera picture going, but I haven't a clue how to do that. Uh, so that, that's just testing EQ mod. If we then shut that down, it does not want to shut down. Um, okay, we'll shut it down from here. If I click ASCOM, there we go, ASCOM disconnect. Now I think that's the toolbox. You've then got the main bit of software, which is EQ ASCOM. Uh, okay, that's foxed me a little bit. We've got this. Oh, ah, right. Stretch the window out. I don't know if the other one would have done that. But this has got a host of other bits and pieces here. It's got all that, that, that those setting things. Um, didn't look at that in great detail. So there's a lot to look at there. Um, but obviously you're not going to control it by clicking things on here, we want to control it using the planetarium software, which will be cart to seal, which I don't think I've got on this laptop yet. Um, let's have a little look. Have I got it on this laptop? Quick hunt. All programs. Yes, there it is. Cart to seal. Let's minimize that.
Right, not quite sure I like the, the screen display uh, the way this is set up at the moment, um, but we can shrink this down. Which way are we going? Okay, let's go that way. We can shrink this down. Um, I'd like to look look south, so I'll rotate that. Which way do we want to go? That way, that's, that's more or less south. So we're looking south, so um, there we've got some familiar the sun, it's a miserable day today, so there's no sign of the sun, Mercury. Uh, but here's the square of Pegasus, and away we go. Now, you've got to tell Carte de Seal to talk to EQMod. And that's done, last time I did that, was by choosing things here. Now, we've got to select POTH Telescope. Um, it's only giving one option there, um, configure, right, choose scope, you must check the driver configuration before the first time, please click the properties button, I'll click the properties button. Component, ASCOM tele, oh, right, well it's what it's trying to do is it's trying to use uh, um, so we don't want that we want to actually have a ASCOM dome control EQ mod that looks like the one EQ mod ASCOM HEQ56 you must check the driver configuration before. The device is really connected. Just click OK. OK. Scope connection, connect. Oh, that seemed to be quite happy. Set up. Right, that's giving you go. Going back to that menu, which we've already had a look at. OK. Um, so, OK. Right, now I will fall off my chair if this works. But if I think about going to somewhere in Pegasus, first let's now hit that button. And nothing. So, back to telescope. Control panel. Ah, another connect down here. Connect. Green. Very encouraging. And I notice that here it is telling me that I have got a little circle around Polaris, which is where we are pointing. So that's good, good news. Um, I'll hide that window. Um, now we go back down to Shiat, which is already selected, and hit Go. Illegal operation while parked. Okay, so we are parked. Things. How do I get back to the EQ mod? There we go. So right, parked. Unpark it. Down to unpark. Right, let's minimise that and hit go. And it still thinks I'm parked. Not parked. Right, let's disconnect and reconnect and now say go and away we go. So I last did this about six years ago, so I hope you forgive me for doing it a trial and error, um, the little button, the little circle on the screen is whizzing around and it's arrived superbly on Shiat, which looks about like the right position. Um, if I then went to 
uh, Lyra, which is over there. And what you would do, of course, when, when this is all set up nicely, you wouldn't just do that. You, you'd recenter that spot on and do sync. Um, and you, there's uh, doing sort of alignments and things, which we will have a look at later. So, but if I click on Vega and say go, then off it goes, doing a happy slew. That's done. Now, I don't know if you can park the telescope from Carte de Seal. Um, probably not. So back to EQ mod up here, park to home position. So there is our little circle. Traversing up to Polaris. Um, oh, I pressed the button there, I'm not quite sure. I think we're on equatorial, um, no we're not, we're on azimuthal coordinates there we go so there's Polaris so that is something to to play with um, certainly when it's running well it makes life a thousand times more simple uh, I'm not quite sure why that thing is blinking as it is blinking there um, let's go back to I'll minimize cart the seal. Ah, oh, there's a little I have a window sitting down the bottom here which There we go. So we're on unparked. Um, oh, I guess we'd need to disconnect it. That's, a, that's always a good idea. So telescope, control panel, disconnect. Uh, always disconnect things via ASCOM, otherwise when, when you try and shut them down, they get very upset. Um, I haven't set any configurations there, so no. And I, I don't know why that's sitting flickering as it is. The thing is parked. If I minimize that, the other one. Yeah, I'll probably just control alt delete task manager and shut that up, but um, hopefully that gives you a bit of an outline as what we can achieve with EQ mod.